What subjects are worth painting and why? By Walt Morton, posted on Facebook on October 2nd, 2023. In 2023, viewers can experience millions of images gleaned from art, photography, and cinema. You can see portraits, landscapes, still life, religious and mythological themes, historical events, wildlife and animals, abstract art, and nudes. You can even instruct mid-journey AI to create a purple space monkey with orange horns blowing a kazoo, and the AI will promptly generate the entirely new image. Given the contemporary image overload, what kind of content is worth a painter's time? What sorts of subjects can you become interested in, proceed to paint that subject, and find it interesting, productive, and inspiring enough to continue? This brings up the idea of the specialist painter. I'll use Adam Wolpert as an example. Adam has been a California painter for decades. After trying various content, he decided to focus on painting trees. Since then, he's painted hundreds of trees, many of them in very large formats, around five feet by seven feet. Adam has made an enormous commitment in terms of time, space, materials, and energy towards painting trees. And to be honest, it's not as if tree paintings are an automatically sexy hit with audiences and turn into easy money. When I asked Adam what was behind his tree obsession, he simply said, I love trees. I love looking at them. That reveals a big, obvious secret for any painter. You'll get a better result painting something you enjoy looking at in the first place. You need to find something that interests you enough to paint more than once, or twice, or 30 times. There are great things about being a specialist painter. If you focus on the right content, you can upskill yourself and become exceptionally proficient in that content. Adam has studied the problem of how to paint a tree, and in that lengthy process, he has developed an appealing, attractive, and personal solution. I can think of other painters who have repeatedly painted a specialized content area and have developed elegant solutions to their special subjects. Examples include Sean Cheatham, portraits, Teresa Elliott, cattle, Jennifer Gennari, cats, Scott Connery, eggs, and Kathleen Speranza, roses. While there are other painters who occasionally work on these above-mentioned subjects with the skill, the specialist painter has explored their subject with hundreds of paintings of that thing. And in the process, they develop a refined, personal approach that looks good, unique, effective, and completely professional. In the olden days of art, great masters like Peter Paul Rubens, 1577 to 1640, worked on huge canvases with the assistance of helpers who were often specialty painters skilled at painting a specific section of the artwork. A painter might be hired to render fur, fruit, clouds, metal, or fabric. So the idea of being a content specialist has been around for a long time. There is no doubt that any painter can develop a superpower if they exhaustively work on a specialized content area and create a hundred paintings of any subject. But, aha, the catch. The volume of work alone is not enough. You also have to be analytical enough to improve your method along the way and evaluate results as you, prog as you progress. If you decide to paint apples and your hundredth apple looks just like your first apple, you likely miss the point of developing skill through process refinement. The downside of being a specialist painter is that you, if you become famous enough for that specialized content, it can be a creative trap. Viewers praise, reward, and congratulate you for the work, which leads to a cycle of creating more of your greatest hits. 
You can get stuck in a whirlpool of skill, which is not bad if you enjoy your special subject, but can be terrible if you have to paint cute pink elf kittens forever. The truly worthwhile question any painter can ask themselves is whether there is any subject they are interested in or love enough to paint it 100 times. If you have such an interest, please leverage it. It can be a North Star to guide you.